Hey guys, welcome to Archland. So if you haven't noticed, there's this uh, old icon that you have seen in the previous days or weeks. So it's called Dog's Knife. But before it wasn't activated, now it's uh, it's actually open because of the event. So the event started today. Um, this is going to be from January 11 up to the 18th. So you have to be at level 42 to be able to go to Bloody Reef. But we're going to be uh, going with Risk A, the Coast of Death. Which is, I think, unlocked at level 33. So also, don't forget that the event has a shop. So aside from farming all of um, the equipment here, there is a shop as well. We'll go to that later. Let's go to the event first. So once you click it, these are your challenge rewards. Mostly, they are equipment. Okay. Um, this is a very good event since equipment is either sometimes purchased and it's really a rare drop for SSR equipment to drop. So I highly suggest that you allocate your daily energy to this event because this is only for seven days. And once you farm this event, you'll have, have enough equipment for your team. Also to expand your team as well uh, outside of your first five or your first six. So let's go on to this event. So six days and 13 hours uh, and it will close after. Once you click it, there is going to be two challenges here. The first one is open. So again, it's going to start at level 33 team experience uh sorry account experience not your team so once you finish off this boss you'll be opening up the second one and there's a challenge as well so i'm i'm not sure if the challenge is this uh, dragon head but again once you finish this you'll move on to the next as you also see here there is a divine protection there are buffs to selected heroes so if you have them, please use them because they're going to help you clear the stage. So you have Charlotte here, you have Erica, you have Lena, and you have Avaya. Okay, so challenge rewards, uh, this is going to be good because first challenge reward is going to guarantee you an SSR, it's going to be Seal of Joy. So we're not, um, we do not have the stats for this one first, but again, this these are good rewards for your first clear. I think these are, uh, of course, these are guarantees. Um, the next ones, when you clear this, when you farm these stages, it's going to be random. So let's uh, try to do a challenge and see how this goes. Okay, so this is, it's your regular challenge. So victory conditions will be in nine turns. Um, if you're at a higher level, of course, I think you can... You can um, auto this stage while we, you know, I'm going to auto this stage because I think I can do this on auto. I'm way past uh, level 33. So for those of you guys who are at level 33, I suggest you just manual this stage because I don't think this is going to be easy if you're either equal to 33, level 33, or just above 33. So you have to... Make sure that you are way beyond level 33 for this one. So I'm going to do an auto uh, for this while we discuss. So again, um, this is one of, I think, the best farming stages that I've seen so far. Um, if this is going to be a limited time event, but, you know, is going to happen on a regular basis. Let's say, for example, they're going to have this um, for two weeks, right? So if it's going to be two weeks of every month, this is going to be good for us. Because, again, it's really hard to farm... Oh, reinforcements. Uh, it's really hard to farm equipment. And um, this provides all of the player base an extra boost. Although the energy requirement um, is kind of expensive. It's at 30. So you really have to allocate... Um, a certain portion of your farming to this stage. Anyway, it's go It's only going to happen for a couple of days. Um, did I did I say uh, two weeks? It's actually going to be one week. So make sure that you're active with this every day. Never miss a day in farming this. Um, you have to win this, by the way, in I think uh, nine turns. 
So enemies keep popping up. So I'm at the third turn already. So hopefully auto is going to do me good. So far, so good. Although there are, you know, there are, are a few reinforcements being dished out um, either at the top or the bottom. So again, we'll just have to finish this. Um, I'm sure in a bit we're going to be good with this. So that's the third turn already. So you're only allowed to bring five. So it's going to be hard um, going up to the level 42, I'm sure. Because this one is, is quite a bit challenging, even if uh, more challenging on the, the time limit or the turn limit, because you have to you know clear it within nine turns. So all, all the, although the minions are, are, are squishy enough, but again, if there are a lot, you cannot clear or, you know, you cannot, I probably clear, kill this boss in five, in nine turns. That is what they're saying. So while everybody's holding off the rest, hopefully Sighard can take care of uh, the boss. So we're in our fifth turn already. So actually, if, if it's going to be killing the boss in nine turns, you really have to do this in manual, especially if you are of the same, you know, almost the same level, because you're going to be, t oh my God, Sighard went for the enemy anyway. So I hope there aren't re reinforcements anymore. So for those who are below level 33 in their account, I'm sure this stage is not going to be open to you. Um, you'll just have to level up your account um, religiously so that you could go to 33, then up to 42. As you can see, I'm only at 41. Um, started playing late, so that is why I, you know, I have... I, I haven't been at level 50 yet. Most of the players that have started on December 7, I think, are already at level 50. So hopefully we can clear this still in 9. So it's already turn 7. So reinforcements are here. Hopefully enemy reinforcements are no longer incoming. So it's viable for auto clear. As long as you're at the higher level. Oh my god. Enemy has heal. So definitely going to be, you know, have to have some sort of um, tactic when you're playing this because the enemy is healing. The boss is healing. So we're already at our eighth turn. So hopefully we can still squeeze out a win. And um, there you go. One more enemy turn. Hopefully the enemy doesn't, you know, doesn't heal. So we're going to be at our ninth turn already. This is our last turn to kill. One more. One more attack, please. One more. Okay, so Sighard, I think, is going to... Do the last blow for this one at nine turns. There you go. Very good. Cleared in nine. And let's see what did I unlock. Again, guaranteed for that one. And just... Okay, so everything's cleared. So the next time we challenge the stage, there's a chance for, you know, for a helmet... But it's not guaranteed anymore. And uh, again, a chance for this one. So once you go to the next level, so it's at 35. Okay. It's good. So in and also it opens up um a challenge, a higher degree of difficulty um content here. So the next one on the regular challenge is going to be at level 35. Uh, with these guaranteed 
Then this one is also copies. Um, that is it. So it's really farming for this one, Seal of Joy. Let's let's check out what uh, what Seal of Joy does. Okay, so sorry for um, the confusion, but the Seal of Joy is going to be your currency here. So this is where you're going to be spending your Seal of Joy for your SSR purchases. So this section unlocks at level 42. Um, the, um, the prizes for each of the stages is actually Seal of Joy, the currency, and your equipment so the equipment that you're going to be farming here is not going to be ssr it's going to be srs so please take note of that do not confuse yourself so that is it guys hope that helps so just keep on farming this stage every day if you could farm the higher stages for for you know for for guaranteed equipment the better uh, and also keep on farming your seal of joy because again that you will use in the store for this content okay so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here